Hi Capricorn, this is Barry Shia my chance to look up. Let's see what is your situation as of now and what you need to hear from me right now. Capricorn's out there, Sun Moon Horizon Venus. We've already pre-shuffled the deck. With Ace of Cups. That's beautiful to start with. Along with the Five Pentacles. So you know, something abundant is coming your way, which is going to take you out of this five pentacles situation. Okay? If this is a job situation, if you have been struggling in your life within any aspects of your life, all right, something is being handed over to you, again, okay, by the universe, or some kind of an opportunity is coming your way which is going to take you out of this situation, out of this phase of your life. All right, there's another card. Two of pentacles in reverse. Along with the four of pentacles in reverse, some of you might have been um, juggling with money, finances. When I'm looking at the five pentacles and the two of pentacles and the four of pentacles, because this person is holding on to his coins tightly, okay? That phase, you're going to get past it. You don't have to worry about this anymore or whatever. It doesn't have to be your finances itself, all right? Whatever you were worried about, you know, it, it's like you don't have to. There is this energy about letting go. Because if you look at this two of pentacles, this, this girl up here is walking the tightrope. So it's, it's like, you know, you're balancing. You had been juggling with certain aspects of your life. That phase is over. Okay. Uh, and when I look at this person, okay, when you were going through that phase, that phase of the five pentacles, you, you weren't happy, okay? There is this energy of being grumpy, okay? Literally, uh, literally took a toll over, you know, over you, emotionally as well. There is this energy about not being worried about this anymore. All right, what is your first card, please? Capricorns out there, what is your first card, please? Your first card is this one. You got the two of pentacles. You saw me shuffling, all right? Um, and the two of cups, okay? You have been wanting, because initially I showed you the ace of cups, okay? Something is coming your way, which is going to take you past that five pentacle situation so they're showing me you were wanting something to happen okay could be some kind of a relationship okay you were aiming for something but ace of cups could be you know offer of love or something okay it could be a job situation or promotion at your workplace or something of that sort something is coming together something is being offered to you okay and you had been juggling you had been walking the tightrope to make it happen. And it is happening because I'm looking at two tools together. Whatever you manifested is coming through. All right, Capricorns out there, what is your next card, please? Uh, this is not your next card, but the Devil's Energy, which is a Capricorn energy. What is this card? Eight of Wands, okay? Uh, it seems like uh, you finally, um, you know, when I showed you that Four of Pentacles, I, I showed you that grumpy energy, you know? Angry with yourself, angry with the people around you, all that, you know? That kind of, you know? It affects the people around you as well, your your attitude, your behavior, all that, the grumpiness, okay? Um, but then, you're reaching towards, you're breaking free from that toxicity, Okay, you're letting go of that. You're freeing yourself and you're reaching out into the light. Okay, you're getting past this. Okay, once that Ace of Cups gets offered to you, once things start working out, this is something that you really hoped for. 
Okay, when I'm looking at the four swords, you really wanted this so badly. You know, you literally, you were literally wishing or praying for this to happen. Yes, I don't want things are moving forward. Can we have the next card, please? Capricorns out there. It's the devil card again. Good lord. <laughs> I don't know why the cards are repeating for itself, okay? Two of Pentacles and the Devil's energy. Yes, Knight of, uh, Knight of Wands. Just like the Eight of Wands, you are freeing yourself from this energy, okay? From the dark, you can see how bright this, this card is. There is this passionate energy which is coming through, the fiery energy which is coming through, which, which is enabling you to break free from this darkness, okay? That's nice. You seem light after a long time. That's how good it is. Okay. Eight of Wands. I'm not going to repeat myself. Things are moving forward. Like, you know, it's it's happening quickly. Okay. Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands, fast moving energy. Nothing is going to stop this from coming through. Okay. King of Pentacles, you know, you're going to be um, in a good place, financially abundant, you know, going to be stable, secure. That's a great reading for the Capricorns out there. What's your next card, please? Uh, we have the Ten of Cups, abundance, happiness, and even the people um, who's dependent on you is going to be benefiting from this. Okay? Yes, the world, it's, it's like a new world is opening up. When this happens, it's going to change. It's going to bring about that shift in your life. Okay? Mm, nice. It, it's like you are transforming into a new person. You're like literally out there. Hello. You know, that kind of a... You know, there is this joy. Okay, Queen of Wands. Are you going to um, know your power? Or are you going to be that fighting person? Who is going to let the people around you know you exist? Because something about you is going to change. It could be the attitude. Is going to change okay very fiery energy all right and uh, this is a person who knows our worth you know you, you're letting out you know yourself out there this is me look at me that kind of energy yeah it could be uh, with a kind of a walk you're putting out, like there is a new um, shift which is happening within you. There is this burst of energy which is happening with you, uh, within you. You're charged up. Knight of Cups. You know, it's, it's, it's like things are coming your way. Things are coming your way which is going to make that uh, shift happen. Knight of Cups is an offer. Okay, let's have a, a, a next card, please. Let's have a next card. Okay. And it's coming in fast. Okay, there is no stopping this. I, I showed you the Knight of Cups. We have the Knight of Wands now. And the Queen of Wands along with the Two of Swords. It seems like uh, somebody is uh, making that decision still. Okay, to come forth with that offer. All right, what is your next card, please? Capricorns out there. The wheel is turning in your favor. Justice, you deserve this. Okay, you deserve the shift in your life. Okay. It, the shift is transforming this way. You got a strength card. It, it's like, uh, it's bringing out that inner confidence, you know. Um, something about you, is, uh, about you is going to shift, you know. Within. Because when I see that strength card, it is, you know, your inner being. It's just not you taming a, a lion. 
No, it is you. No? Having that uh, faith in yourself. Mm. Uh, yes, you're all charged up to take this thing. You know, there is a burst of confidence. You know, as some of you, if it's an opportunity which is coming out, yeah, you want to do this, do that, you know, uh, you know, bring about some kind of changes if things are fucked up, you want to bring alignment within the situation, all that, you know, uh, that kind of, you know, you want to make that changes because you have that power, you can make that change, so you're going to make that happen. All right. Uh, what else? Capricorns out there. What? Two of Cups. This will happen. This is uh, this is a green crumb too. And I feel like some of you might be in the spotlight when this happens. Okay? Temperance. And then what? We've got a high priestess along with what else? King of Wands. So it's like um things are finally coming into alignment. Uh, universe is helping you out as well when I'm looking at the temperance energy. Finally, things are falling into its place. Okay? Earlier, I showed you the justice. You deserve it as well. Okay? When I showed you the wheel card, I showed you the justice as well. You deserve this opportunity. Whatever it is, this is meant for you. Okay? And I feel like some of you might be in the spotlight. Okay, with the star card, this is a dream comes true for you because I showed you the four of swords initially. This is something which you wished for. Okay, uh, high priestess, you knew this is coming through. Okay, when I'm looking at the moon card, uh, sorry, high, why did I say moon card? There is, a, there was a sense of uncertainty still. Okay, I, I was going to say high priestess, but instead said moon. All right, so even though in your gut you knew this is happening. Okay, you're going to get your wish fulfilled, but still, um, there is there was this energy about being uncertain, uncertain because you know you manifested this whatsoever with this magician. All right, can we have the next card, please? Capricorns out there, can we have the next card, please? Uh, uh, this uh, three of pentacles this could be a work situation for a source again you or uh, you were putting in so much work for things to come your way you know it's just not falling into your lap just like that no you made it happen that's why the magician you manifested this you you literally made it happen for you you put in a lot of work into it for you to get what you deserve all right this one, temperance and divorce. But yet, there is there was this energy about losing your shit. Okay, you know, um, not being grounded, all that. When you tried so hard, you know, something about losing your balance. Okay, that could be the same energy which I picked up earlier initially when I showed you the four of pentacles in reverse. I showed you the grumpy face. Yeah. We've got the Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. All right. Now, to make this happen, uh, there might have been so much. Ooh, two of Swords. Uh, there might have been so much deception. I don't know from whose end. Okay. People um, were trying everything. To influence this two of swords, this decision. It could be you yourself, who were, uh, since you were trying to manifest it, you might have, you know, uh, done things behind which was lie, all right, to make it happen, to get what you wanted. It's it's like an open fight when I'm looking at this. It's, it's like, you know, mm, people are not on the same page. Okay. There is so much about, um, you know, sleepless nights, okay, uh, depressing thoughts, you know, mm. you know, there's so much about backstabbing as well, when, um, when I'm looking at that Sibna Swords energy, backstabbing. Yeah. 
forgot what I saw with the seven of swords. That's why it just went blank. What was it? Seven of swords, two of swords, and what was the other one? Two of pentacles. All right, moving on. What is your next card, please? Temperance. But now everything is falling into its play, uh, place. All right, that balance is happening. All right, next card, please. Uh, Capricorn's out there. What is your next card, please? I hey, please, you, you knew it. Okay, this is the second time they're trying to show me. You knew in your gut, okay, um, this is happening. You're going to get it. But still, when I'm looking at the skin of cups, you, you know, emotionally, you were all over the place. Okay, it, it, it keeps showing me this, you know, out of balance in the headspace. Yes, again, temperance. This is for me talking about the balance in the headspace. And King of Cups is all about emotions, but it came out in reverse. Okay? Mm. So it, it's like, I know this is coming my way, but will it? Yeah? Will it really come my way? That kind of uh, questioning. You got the Ten of Cups and the World card in reverse. Along, <laughs> along with the Five of Wands. So they're trying to explain to me why you doubted yourself. Okay, because if you look at this card up close, five wands, so much uh, pettiness, so much conflict between the people. Okay, I think uh, what what you were hoping for that Ace of Cups, which initially was uh, you know shown, the Two of Cups, which is coming your way, you know, which is happening for you. Uh, there were others who hoped for the same thing. Okay, but. Um, it's like you doubted yourself uh, thinking, you know, it will slip out of your hand. Okay? It will slip out of your hands because the abundance, the Ten of Cups, which, which is all about the happiness, the joy, you know, it affects your family as well. And the World Card, the transformation which you were expecting, it will slip out of your hands because of these conflicts, because of other people. Next card, please. Capricorns, next card, please. I have tiny hands, so I cannot shuffle these like the usual way. So it's, it's just difficult for me. Uh, we got a hermit. Hermit energy. Uh, there is this energy about, um, you know, shining the lamp in the dark. Like what is others up to? Okay, because there are people who's deceptive, you know, who's capable of betraying you, stabbing you in the back, because Seven of Swords is all about doing things in the dark. So uh, there is this energy about walking the tightrope, because initially we, uh, they showed me the Two of Pentacles. You know, you, you're walking the tightrope. You have to maintain that balance, even though you know for sure, okay, these people are doing things behind your back. And uh, you pretty much, you know, trying to uh, focus on what they're up to. And get past it. Hmm? There is a need for um, or you're required to understand what they're up to. Because if they're doing things in the dark, you need to shine the lamp towards their direction and see what they're up to. You cannot trust them. That is why walking the tightrope as a first card, two of pentacles. You need to maintain that balance. All right. Oh, knight of pentacles in reverse alone because you know uh things can come to a dead end for you okay with this knight of pentacles upright it's the slowest moving energy but in reverse it's like things coming to a full stop if you were in charge with this chariot energy if you are uh you know behind the wheel okay because chariot you know you will be thrown off the chariot you know, if you let them get away with whatever they're trying. Hmm. 
So uh, some of you need to be careful. Okay. You got three of swords and the ten of cups in reverse. Your abundance will be taken away from you. They will stab you in the heart. Okay. This is the same damn energy with the five of wands. People, there are so many other people who is involved in your story who um, wants to mess up your life or wants to get away with what is yours. Because seven of swords is again stealing something from the other person. We've got the emperor here. But you need to be about it all. Moon card in reverse. If it's in the dark, because I was thinking about you need to be the emperor so you know exactly what is going on in your kingdom. Okay, you cannot be uh, the blind king. Yeah, you need to know exactly what is going in your courthouse. Okay, what are they up to? So that is why the hermit needs to shine the lamp in the dark to understand, uh, you know, what is going on. Okay, so that is there. And the moon card, moon, uh, moon card again speaks about, you know, uh, things happening behind the whale in the dark, a deception as well. But in reverse, it's like things, uh, you know, which is hidden, it will come to light. That is why the hermit is shining the lamp. Okay. So everything, you know, which is in the dark will will be in focus. Yes, five swords. Again, you can see people, um, you know, not being on the same page. Uh, when I'm looking at this card, um, it's the continuation. Okay, only then can you win over these people. Now there is this energy about mocking others. In this card, you can see this person, it, it's like he's holding onto the swords. He's walking away, but he's looking back and smoking. So there is this energy about yeah, putting it in their face that you won the battle. Because again, three of cups, celebrations, you know, showing them you, you lose that kind of, you know, you lo loser, loser, you know, that kind of childish, uh, that smirk is coming out. You cannot keep it subtle. All right, Capricorns are on there. What is your next card, please? Or they are not going to be happy about you winning. Page of Cups. There is a childish energy. Okay, they're just trying to confirm it to me. There is this childish energy about the attitude. Okay? It, it's, you know, rubbing it in their face that you won and they lost. All right, Capricorns. What is your next card, please? Three of Pentacles is your next card. I need to shorten this reading. It's, it's kind of tiring. Um, you get the Three of Pentacles along with the First Sword. So it seems like uh, you're still working on it or you need to still work on this to find the light. Okay, when I'm looking at the Devil's Energy. Okay, this person is breaking free from all the toxicity. So uh, it might be, you know, you need to free away from the toxic people in your life. Okay, who's trying to keep you down. Who's trying to hold you where they are. Okay, they don't want you to rise above them. Because you can see another person. Okay, another person who's still, you know, not willing to let go of this chest. Okay, the treasure box. But this other person has a hand, you know, up towards that, uh, you know, he, he wants to reach out towards the light. So you need to work on breaking yourself free from the toxicity around you. Uh, this could be, um, uh, now there is this energy about healing yourself as well when I'm looking at this for swords energy. Okay, uh, but uh, since I'm speaking about the childish energy, 
Hmm? They are asking you to break free from the toxic, uh, you know, it's, it's just not worth it. Rubbing, uh, rubbing it in the thighs is just not worth it. It's just going to build up the toxicity in them further. All right. I'm just going to break the deck here and we have the five pentacles. It's just going to make you cling into that toxicity. Okay. It, it, it's not helpful. All right. What is your next card, please? So focus on what is important for you. Okay. Focus on your work or whatever it is. Okay, rather than um, into this toxicity. Yes, the tower. And I see the tower is coming down. Shit is going to blow. You know, hit the fan. That kind of uh, situation. If it's a work situation, some of you, uh, you know, um, if you, you are heading upwards, some of you are going to fall you know, or exit as well. When that tower happens, there could be exits. Okay? Yes, yeah, so Eight of Pentacles. It could be a work situation as well. All right. What is your next card, please? Because this, uh, this reading speaks about finances, you know, way too much. And I feel like it's a... Uh, there is a cause for celebration. But you need to protect it. Okay. Uh, a decision has to be made. A decision is still in the process of being made. Uh, this. The outcome would be some kind of a celebration. And then seven of wands speaks about. You, know, you need to guard yourself or protect what is yours. And even. Um. Protect it from others because if you look at this person, this person is uh, fighting up against like six people. He's uh, he's standing over a cliff and he's you know others are trying to reach out. So you need to uh, maintain your position or you know hold on. Okay, people want to push you over and have what is yours, but you need to guard it. And guard yourself as well. Okay, Capricorns. What is your next card, please? Okay. There you go. You got a star card and the page of swords in reverse. All right. Eight of cups. I'm telling you, I, I, and I get the feeling people are going to be disappointed. They might walk out. Okay, because uh, because page of swords in the bus is like somebody really pissed off. Okay, and because uh, the star card in the bus, it's like their dreams did not work out. Okay, whatever they were wishing for, um, it didn't work out, and they're very very disappointed. Okay, they're just not happy with how things, you know, and they're not going to. Uh, um, be quiet about it. When I'm looking at the page of swords in reverse, they're going to be very um, defensive or they might make it very vocal as well. Like, you know, they're not happy about it. They don't think like what is coming out of their mouth, that kind of, you know, um, unhappiness. Very disappointed. All right. What is your next card, please, Capricorns? Oh. You got the King of Cups in reverse and the Empress in reverse. It could be male and female energy, but uh, uh, some of them are losing their abundance over the situation. Some of you, uh, some of them are, uh, and I feel like this is external energy because I already showed in your story the number of five pentacles, the five wands, okay, the petty fights. Um, what was that the thing? Five swords, you know, I showed you, you know, uh, you know, rubbing it in their face, that kind of, you know, um, yeah, uh, that kind of a battle between people. So it, it seems like the other other people's story is also coming through. Okay. They want to speak on their behalf as well. Okay. Because people lost on their dreams. They're not going to be happy about it. They're going to be very defensive about, 
you know, how things out, uh, things turned out. They're going to be very disappointed with this Empress energy. They lost their uh, abundance, okay, to you in the King of Cups in reverse. Some of you, <laughs> some of them might be drinking as well. They might be losing their shit over this, like um, how things turned around, all right? Because they, they really expected, because Nine of Pentacles, say Nine of Pentacles, from this to the Empress, okay? Um, this is the upgrade from, uh, from this situation to the Empress energy. But the thing is, Empress is in reverse. So it isn't happening for them. And I saw the High Priestess energy in between. All right. Sorry. Uh, they're very disappointed, all right? Mm. And it is because of the five wands. I just saw the five wands as well. Um, so much conflicts. So uh, intuitively or, uh, you know, in their gut, they knew this is, uh, you know, they're going to have it. But then it didn't. It didn't happen. Okay. And they're losing the shit over this. Okay. It, it, they just can't digest it. I want to sneeze so badly. Capricorns out there. And they, uh, uh, so, uh, some of you might have to deal with verbal spats, you know, people will talk uh, rash, okay, a knight of cups, regards to this opportunity. All right, Capricorn, what is your next card, please? Oh, this is a very long reading. I think I'm just going to do four cards from now on. Knight of Wands and this strength card. This is going to bring about so much passionate energy within you, within, uh, you know, if it's a work situation, you're going to be very, you know, in power and very charged up, you know, very fired up, you know, with that strength card. Knight of Wands, you, you want to get things running. Yes, uh, and Queen of Swords, and uh, you come out as a person who is very intellectual as well. Okay, who knows a shit, who knows exactly what is right and what is wrong, how to do things. You know, you're coming out as a person who's mature. All right, what is your next card, please? Oh, Jesus. King of Swords in reverse. Queen of Swords and King of Swords in reverse. Because I was just thinking, I wanted to say, but it's a very long reading already. So I just, I, you know, I just, you know, it came in my head and I... Just was like, yalla, chuck it. Uh, the thing is, when I told you you're very mature, all that, I was thinking, then why do you have to, you know, tell these people or rub it in their face, you lose, I win. You remember that part? So I was just thinking about it. I was like, you're mature enough. And they sh then they showed me the King of Swords. Uh, either people are going to test you. Even if you are trying to be very just, uh, um, there is a need for you to be very selfish as well. Because the people around you is not going to be fair. You might be dealing with like, uh, people who is not, you know, selfless or, you know, rational, all that. Because there is this... Um, Selfish energy which is coming through, you know, people who is um, the opposite of this element of a king of swords, who's not fair, who's, you know, they will go to any extent to get your abundance. So you're dealing with that people. So you can't be exactly, uh, uh, you know, another straight arrow kind of person. You need to be manipulative because the people whom you're dealing with could be manipulative. Everybody is aiming for this ace of wands, the opportunity, which is, you know, shining like, you know, the baton. Or like, you know, everybody wants this for themselves. What is your next card? We have the Six of Cups. 
there is a need for you to uh, keep up. Uh, then you need to be cordial with others. I feel like I'm lecturing you right now. Uh, that's why I feel like I need to keep the reading very compact with, uh, uh, you know, just a few cards. Because now it feels like, you know, I'm your mother. Uh, the Six of Cups, because people are going to be very, very disappointed with, you yeah, know, they have to walk away or they're disappointed with, you know, things not being offered to them. But you need to be cordial with them when you're dealing with them. Okay, because Six of Cups, you can see, uh, you know, people being on the same page. Or, or at least being nice to each other, even if they are not happy. Just so that you can take things forward. All right. Exactly. Seven of Swords in reverse. You, even if you know, okay, whatever they have done to you in the past, like Seven of Swords, you can see this person, little thief, okay, doing things behind your back. You know, screwing up your life, you know, wanting to screw up your life or, you know, stealing what is yours or trying to steal what is yours. But in reverse, it's like, you know, what they did in the dark is out in the open. So you're very much aware of what they did. So they're trying to say, even if people try to fuck, you know, a fuck up with you, you still need to be nice to them. Yeah. Three of Cups. You need to play along with them. And we have the Three of Pentacles here. Yes. For the people who are disappointed, you need to make them a part of the celebration. I don't know how you're going to manage that, but yes. You need to walk along with them. If that makes sense to you. One last card, please. Capricorn Sartre, one last card, please. This one, uh, exactly, the Temperance, Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and we have the Four of Swords. So Temperance is the last card, which speaks, uh, speaks about, you know, keeping things in alignment, okay? Moving forward with a real energy. Uh, once everything falls into its place, you, you need to be in charge of keeping things. Ready. So it's mainly speaking the second line, mainly it's speaking, uh, speaking about people will be disappointed with you. But you need to be the bigger person. Even if you win, win over them, you need to be nicer. All right. And uh, be mature about it. Okay. So, the, uh, uh, you know. You can walk along with them or they can walk alongside with you. Okay? Or under you or, you know. I don't know why they should be so disappointed, but I see disappointments. Okay? Only then, mm, can you walk on your abundance? Because you need them. Uh, you know, y you cannot make it happen by yourself. Yes? Even if the opportunity comes your way, you need to maintain the balance, to have that alignment. The three of pentacles, again, you, you need to keep working. Okay, you need to be cordial with the people. All that. Okay, only then, uh, it wants and the wheel of fortune. Only then can things move forward in peace. That's it. Yeah, uh, and it's, it's just going to be a little stressful. Okay, but high priestess, you will be guided. Uh, how to go about it. That's it for now. This is Marishi Yuma Chao Shiloka. Until next time, bye bye.